Hello everyone, V is a Fertie back with another how to play. Today we're looking at how to play Coraline. Uh, a game, it's a trick taking game made for use with this Vines deck, which is a five suited deck of cards by James Ernest and Crab Fragment Labs. And you can find the rules on their website as well and see a video by James if you prefer. Uh, this is a little trick taking game. This is the basic version. There's many variants that add different things that I won't get into. I'm just gonna do For this video, I'll just do the basic game Obviously, you need a five seated deck. It's for three to six players. Best is with four and The cards of course, it's a five seated deck of cards ace through seven and then there's four court cards There is a bishop there is the tar, which is basically slain for sailor. There is the knight, and there is the farmer. And the rankings are, and I can also find an ace. The rankings are ace, knight, bishop, farmer, and tar. Obviously this is not all one suit, but it doesn't matter. And then you got two through seven. And you also got the tree suit, which is the one I didn't show you. So, at least I believe ace is high, that's how I've been playing it. You're going to deal out the entire deck to all players. I'll do four players here. Bear with me a sec. Probably should have done that off camera, but it's fine. And there's going to be some extra cards dealt out. Whoever has extra cards will discard them. This guy has an extra card, and these guys have extra cards. So everyone's going to discard one card from the hand. If you have extra, you're going to have 13 total. So maybe this guy gets rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this two. Low card. Although that could be a mistake. You know, I, I'll just get rid of the lowest card from each person's hand. That has an extra. This guy does not have extra. So we won't remove anything from his hand. Yeah, why not? Um, Actually... Change his mind. So, before we get started, everyone's going to look at their hand and they're going to make a bid. And you're going to make a bid based on how many tricks you think you're going to win. The minimum bet is two. You can also pass. If everyone passes, then the dealer must bid at least two. So, you know, maybe this guy says, you know, I'm going to bid two. This guy says three. This guy says, I'll do five. Why not? And I apologize for off camera here. So, whoever has the highest bid, and you know, I'm going to pass. This guy bid five, I'm passing, I'm out. Whoever has the highest bid starts, and they will lead. And whatever card they lead, that suit will be Trump for the entire round. So maybe they will lead. They don't have the best for hand for leading anything as Trump. Maybe they just lead this. So we'll say the cups. The purple cups is Trump. And uh, this guy says, okay, I'm going to play the bishop. Because that's, why not? He has a couple of higher cards. But there's no point in playing them. And yeah, and it's a must follow. So whatever suit was led, you have to follow if you have. If you don't, then you can play something else. So I won the first trick. Bishop is higher than farmer, and I get to collect this trick. And now I'm going to lead the next one. I'm going to say, let's play. I got lots of kings. I should have bid five. <laughs> you go around the table like this. This guy says, I'm going to take this one. And this guy. Plays that. So this guy wins it. He's going to collect it. And he's going to lead the next one. It's fairly straightforward 
quick taking game. This scoring is where things get interesting. So this guy bid five tricks. So he wants to win five tricks. If he wins five tricks, if the guy who places the bid, this guy, wins five tricks because he bid five. If he wins five tricks, I won't repeat that again. <laughs> then he will match exactly and they will win five points, one for each trick. And everyone else will score nothing. So in this game, this guy's trying to win whatever he bid. Whoever has the high bid is trying to win whatever they bid. So you may not want to bid five or six or something like that because it might be hard to reach. Everyone else is going to be trying to prevent him. Because if this guy does not hit five bids, if he has less than five bids, he will miss. And they will get zero points and everyone else is going to score one point per trick. However, if this guy goes over, if he bid five and he got six, for example, then he goes over and in that case, everyone will simply score one point per trick. So they even want this guy to not, this guy obviously wants to get at least what he bid or higher. Everyone else does not want him to do that. So we can continue playing. I don't remember. I believe this guy won. You know, maybe he plays the walk. I'll show you all the seats. Uh, this guy's not going to win, so he just dumps a small card. B2. And this guy has no choice but to play the farmer. This guy wins again. He's got two tricks. This guy... You know what? Let's continue. He's going to play the tar. Oops. This guy first, not me. <laughs> again, you have to follow the suit and lead if you have... Okay, that works for me. I'm playing the king. Which means I will win unless this guy decides to trump. And he decides not to. So I win the king high. I get to lead the next one. Uh, let's play... Let's play the trump suit. Oops. This guy's card to face up. And this guy has to play this card. And this guy will just dump the small card. The crowns and this guy has no choice but to play, so I win this one. You believe? So why not? Let's do that again. You can play Trump if you want. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to win tricks. This guy wants to win tricks. He needs to win five, and so far he's won none. So it's this guy's turn. Whoops. Um. Yeah, he has no cups. You're going to play that one, and this guy has no choice but to play a cup. He's regretting his decision to make the cups a trump suit. <laughs> so now I'm going to play treats. I'm going to win another trick. Unless this guy trumps it, which he is not going to. So you go around the table like this, everyone playing a card into the trick. This guy's annoyed because he has to play his highest card. And I win again. <laughs> Yay. Uh, so I will lead. Let's, let's do this one, the tar. And this guy, uh, unfortunately... Cannot win this trick again. This guy played a higher card. So he wins. He might as well continue with that suit. If it worked for him. However, this guy is going to play a higher card. So he finally wins the trick. Yay. <laughs> he does not have a good hand, unfortunately. And ooh, the farmer wins it. Then you call it that trick. He plays this one. And you know what? I'll trump it. <laughs> and 
Legend of the Sky will display the former. So I win that one with the trunk because I don't have enough tricks as it is in my pile. And I leave the farmer in the trees, and this guy will win it on the trunk. So remember, this guy bid that he would win five tricks. He only won two, so he missed. So he's going to get zero points. Everyone else is going to get one point per trick. Had he, uh, let's say he won five tricks, exactly. <laughs> then he would have gotten the five points and nobody else would score. Had he gone over, let's say he won six tricks, he would have gotten one point per trick and so would everyone else. So the scoring is based on who made the bid and do they actually win the bid? Do they miss the bid? Do they go over the bid? Pretty straightforward, I think. Hopefully that makes sense. There are additional rules you can add, like such as having a thief suit and other special stuff, which we won't get into. You can also do a variance where you bid zero, which is kind of the same as passing, <laughs> and, uh, and stuff like that. But yeah, you're going to play until somebody hits... 40 points with four players, 60 with three, and 25 with five to six players. If there's a tie, who you're gonna, if there's a tie and the winning score, the advantage will go to whoever was the bidder for that last round. So that is that. Hopefully that makes sense. Pretty straightforward, I think. Can you play this with a regular deck of cards? I suppose so. But you're going to have to remove some cards, I suppose. I kind of like using this one, though. That is that. Comment, like, subscribe, and what you think that is. Coral on. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.